want brownies, Brianna? <laughs> you know, we were just about to do nap time, but it might be bath round two for the day. What are you guys making? Brownies. Brownies? Yeah. Are those chocolate brownies? See, be careful with that stick. No, no, we don't hit people. We don't hit people with sticks. Good thing you had that fire chief hat on. You never locked your dog before. We are, happy 4th of July. We are celebrating by walking down to our gorgeous barn that we are so blessed to own and shoveling poop. So that is how we are spending the holiday today. Later, we will be celebrating with friends and watching fireworks, but for today, we are actually going to prepare for Dolly to cab. Chicky poos. So I'm actually pretty happy that the barn is empty. It means I don't have to bribe anybody to get out of the barn. Oh, there's Miss Dolly. Hey Dolly dear. This is why I shut the barn, because when they see me, they come running. Hi, sweet goat herd of mine. Aren't they so beautiful? <laughs> Even when they pee. Nursing babies. Still so cute. Of course, Dolly must join in. Look at this. <laughs> Do we need to spray you again? Really exciting. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this morning we were so excited to see something that uh, was a little gooey and a little stringy and uh, Dolly had some discharge this morning and discharge can be a bad thing in general but if you're looking to have a calf it's a good sign and if you look in her nether region back here it's actually she's actually a little bit swollen and she had a little dang whoa dangly discharge hanging down it was kind of clear and stringy and that's really exciting we honestly wondered at times if she was even pregnant because we don't know what a pregnant cow looks like but i'm pretty sure she's pregnant and gonna have a calf in the next day or two it's kind of this funny thing it's not like when you're pregnant it's so obvious when a human's pregnant it's a little less obvious even i think less obvious than goats the yeah. goats it's kind of hard to tell too because of their rumens so one thing we're definitely looking for is her udder filling, which has not happened, obviously. All right, it's time to get to work cleaning out this barn. This whole area here has goat poop and hay that's fallen down. We're just gonna get this all cleaned out. And I think we're gonna clean out at least one of the stalls too and get old hay down on the floor for bedding so that the barn is clean and um, ready for a calf. When you have chickens kind of everywhere, you find eggs everywhere. To be honest, the barn is pretty messy. We have a lot of feed bags, 
Hay strings. Poop. <laughs> Okay, I'm going in. This is a dinner napkin from Kmart. And I think it's from the Pioneer Woman line. <laughs> it's funny. This is like their routine. They're like, what's up? You're messing up. put a window in for me so the chickens will stop coming in my milking room and pooping everywhere. A window? <laughs> well, you help me move it. It's one o'clock. I've got to go make lunch and get ready. I've got to make all that food for tonight. Hopefully after lunch we'll still have time to tie up the tomatoes that they needed so bad. <laughs> the kids can come out and help you and I can make the food for tonight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, come with me. I want to go harvest some basil for the dish I'm making for the party tonight. Ooh, what did you make? A stick doll. Okay. Very nice. Because she was like talking a bunch and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes sisters do that. Because I like sister. A handful. working on freezing all those organic blueberries I got the other day. You want to eat one? Yeah, I want to eat one. Okay, just grab one. If you freeze them individually first, then when you put them in the bag, they don't get all clumped together. Do you like frozen blueberries or fresh blueberries better? Frozen. I know, all you guys like frozen ones better. Let's not do that on the tablecloth though. Okay. It'll stain it. You can do it on the table. What? Show me what you got. So a viewer sent us this amazing antique cowbell. And although, although I don't think Dolly is going to really enjoy wearing it, I think we're gonna set it up as some kind of dinner bell. And we're gonna test it right now. Let's go ring it and see if daddy comes to dinner. Dinner time, come get your vittles. <laughs> did you hear us ringing the bell? I did. <laughs> I guess you're done cleaning the barn. Yep. Awesome. Okay, what's today? Fourth of July. July. What does that even mean? Everybody. That's okay, I'm not gonna. Back in 1776, the there was a group of guys who lived in New England. And they were pen pals with a guy in England whose name was George. And he wrote him a special letter on this day. From which country? What country? England. That's right, Joy. When? In the course of human events. Arthur's ancestors, two of them, actually signed the Declaration of Independence. It's really not that long ago because it was just my great, 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 great <laughs> grandfathers. Two of them named Arthur Middleton and Edward Rutledge and they were from South Carolina. Yep. And his cousin was in a Ancestry.com advertisement specifically because he was one of the descendants. It's kind of a neat little fact. 